process. Talk about selecting your steam cast. <laughs> oh, the process was, uh, I guess, I, didn't, I don't know, we did this film in the dead of winter, so that was kind of challenging. Um, it was very cold out around, what, 20 degrees yeah, some days? 20, yeah. yeah, so, but, um, hey, Vaughn, I've known for quite a while, and he was really uh, the young actor here. He did a fantastic job. Mickey is what's in my other film, and the Manny Petty that you screened as well. Yeah. The, yeah. And also the like Natalie as well. Exactly. But, um, the, the process was a bit challenging due to the weather. And uh, actually, as you can hear, I had some challenging uh, issues with the audio, so in terms of post-production. Right. But overall, it turned out very well. Everybody was on point. I got to give a lot of credit to Kay Vaughn. Um, yes, the, the yes. trooper came with his lines, knew his lines, and knew everybody else's lines. Wow. He's an up-and-coming actor. Wow. And Bobby here is a great actor, too. He does a lot of theater work, so. Yeah. Um, it was interesting to get the cast together and they all worked out very well. So. Right. Yeah. So how was it for you? I mean, coming here doing this excellent film and portraying the character that you did. It was a great process. I like uh, keep thinking for the opportunities to get my name up and volunteer in this. So this story here, any realism? Is there any truth? And is, it, is, it, is it a background for someone? Or is it something that you just made up the story? No, I mean, obviously, there's got to be some kind of truth to the story, but not anyone that I know per se. But um, as you can see, the kids in and out of the subway system, um, kids during school hour roaming the streets, obviously something's going on with their lives. Right. But um, I'm quite sure there is a number of young people out that are out here that are have issues with being in shelter systems or foster care and things of that nature and, and choose not to be. So they do roam the streets. So I just picked up on that aspect of it. Right. And the naming, emotionally homeless, is like a double entendre. Yeah, based on, um, like I had mentioned earlier, that I heard that term when I was in a coffee shop one evening and a young woman who happened, happened to be from Africa and has been here since she was 11 years old had indicated that she feels emotionally homeless. But she doesn't feel home in Africa and she doesn't feel at home here. So I picked up on that title and just went with the story behind it. So where do you go from here? Anything coming up soon with this film? Uh, this film is pretty much, I, first of all, I have to thank the People's Film Festival for allowing us to present it here. This is our first time showing it. Um, it might probably uh, put it uh, put it in a few more festivals, and we'll just take it from there. Yeah. Um, but I just want to thank the people so much once again for their support. Yes, always. always. Thank you. Thank you so much.